Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. We are the podcast that turns your ideas into an amazing adventure every single day. You know, we couldn't even exist without imaginations from kids just like you. So if you have an idea for a story, I'd love to see it. Check down in the show notes below for how you can submit your own story idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And parents, if you're new to kids podcasting, I want to challenge you to listen to podcasting for five days in a row with your kids. It's going to increase their imagination, decrease screen time, and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day outside, which meant it was a perfect day for Jack to play at the beach. He loved walking over to the beach in his neighborhood because you just never know what you just might find over there. You know, there's all kinds of mysteries at beaches, and beaches come in all different shapes and sizes. So there might be a beach at a pond, a beach at a lake, or a beach at the ocean, but all beaches I have some kind of magical abilities to to create some awesome adventures. But Jack was not ready for what he was about to find at the beach today. All right, I'll see you later. Jack waved to his parents and he walked out the door, holding a bucket in one hand with some shovels, a net in the other, oh, and a backpack with uh, some water and snacks. I hope I find some really cool shells today said Jack as he was walking along the sidewalk headed to the beach. Oh, what's that smell? He said. Oh, Oh, it sounds like some nasty, nasty coconuts that just went really bad. Oh, have you ever smelled rotten coconuts before? Oh, it's pretty atrocious if you get close enough. But it's strange because usually, yeah, you do have to get close enough to a coconut to smell it if it's rotten. How did Jack smell it from all the way back here? Jack was pretty confused because he'd never smelled such a horrendous rotten coconut smell before. And as he walked on to the beach, the smell just got worse and worse. It must have been pretty bad because there was nobody else on the beach. I think that bad smell must have kept everyone away because it was like a really nice, beautiful day outside and uh, I guess everyone just thought it was way too stinky to be at the beach. Huh, I've never seen this many crab tracks in the sand this way before. Jack noticed in the sand that there was a path uh, of like crab tracks that were uh, made on a trail in the beach all the way down, kind of headed towards some trees down there. Jack had been to the beach a thousand times before, and he'd never noticed uh, such a strange trail of crab tracks, and he thought about following them. So he did. The tracks went all the way over some sand dunes on the side of the beach, and all the way down, and all the way up, and finally... (sighs) Oh! The smell was so bad. Jack had stumbled into a giant pile of stinky, rotten coconuts. The smell was so overbearing, Jack almost couldn't breathe. (gasps) This is the worst smell I've ever... What is... Who would... Why are all these in a pile? Jack had so many questions, but he could barely get any out. And then he heard a voice. Hey, are you a purple ninja? Who said that? Wait, purple ninja? Where? Jack started looking around in in a panic because, you know, if there's a purple ninja nearby, you don't want him sneaking up on you. As Jack spun around in a circle, he finally saw what was talking to him was actually a crab. Not your normal average crab. This was a giant crab. Uh, It was very, very large and it could talk. Was that you, Mr. Crab? Said Jack. Yes, I'll say it again. Are you the purple ninja that's supposed to pick up all these rotten coconuts? Um, no, I'm not. But wait, are you working with purple ninjas? Asked Jack. Well, if you're not a purple ninja, then I have nothing more to say to you. Good day. 
and the crab kept walking. You know how, what I said about like the craziest things always happen at beaches? Well, this was definitely the craziest thing that Jack had ever encountered at the, at the beach. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't just walk away, Mr. Crab. Um, are, I, are you working with the Purple Ninjas? Because if you are, I don't think that's a good idea. The crab froze and turned around. What do you mean it's not a good idea? Well, I just mean if they're tricking you into getting them stinky things for them, they probably are going to trick you in some way. Did they promise you something? Yeah, they promised if I got them a whole bunch of stinky coconuts that they'd give me some gold coins. They promised you gold coins? Said Jack with big eyes. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're tricking you. Pretty sure after they take the stinky coconuts from you, they're not going to give you any gold coins. What? I've been doing this whole thing for gold coins and you th- you're going to... Uh, us crabs are loyal. And if a purple ninja is not loyal, then we will not work for him. I'm really sorry to break the news to you, but yeah, you just don't want to work for a purple ninja. I had a bad feeling about this, but Sally over there told me that we should do this for the gold coins because us crabs, we really love shiny things. Oh, you you like shiny things? Yes. Uh, do you have any shiny things? Uh, yeah, I, I do have some coins in my pockets. They're just pennies and nickels. <gasps> You have real pennies and nickels? Oh, please. Please, please, please. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here. How about this? You can have these pennies and nickels if you get rid of all those stinky coconuts. Oh, sure thing. Sure thing. Sure thing. Just let me see. Jack showed the pennies and nickels that were in his pocket. The crab was so excited to see those very shiny things and immediately got to work. This giant crab and all of his friends were able to move all those very stinky, rotten coconuts far, far away into the ocean where nobody would ever smell them again. And it was a pretty far enough away place from those purple ninjas who are always looking for the stinkiest of things. And by the end of the day, Jack, it was time for him to head back home, had made new friends with these crabs. You see those crabs? They value two things a lot in their friendships, trust and loyalty. You see, being a good friend, especially to these crabs, it means that if you say you're going to do something, uh, that loyalty and trust, it means that you're going to follow through and doing what you said, which as we know, those purple ninjas are not good at that, so they're not very uh, trustworthy, loyal friends. But I'm so glad that this crab has made a new friend in Jack. Because Jack is the most loyal and trusting friends a crab could have. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Ollie, who's turning seven years old. Ollie wants to be a scientist when he grows up. He loves planting and he just learned... To bike without training wheels. Holy smokes, that's a big deal. And I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy 7th birthday, Allie. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day. And I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.